Me caught my wife talking to another guy and we just got married. I've been having this feeling that my wife has been doing something behind my back for some reason after the other day I walked out on the porch and she clearly was texting someone and exited out of it fast and put her phone down while I was preoccupied talking to my mother on the phone. Well after a conversation with a friend of mine at work, I took off early from work to go home and check my wife's phone, sucks it even had to go to that well. I didn't find text messages but I found some phone calls that were about two weeks old. I looked the number up and it was a guy from New York. After I discovered it I just sat there and watched TV for a few and my wife woke up and came into the living room, I asked her whose number it was and she told me. Let's take a step back, this is the same guy she used to talk to behind her ex-husband's back apparently and her mom told me she used to have an emotional relationship with long distance when they were having problems in their marriage. Well, after she told me who it was I immediately asked her why she would do this. Why she needed to talk to someone else while I was at work especially a guy she talked to in her last marriage. She told me he called, but then told me the conversation about how this guy was trying to get her to come to New York and she told him no, but I feel like she was just trying to tell me anything because she got caught. We got married on July 21st, she got a whole new number and phone on July 25th because of her ex's husband bullshit. Well, that New York guy called her on August 2. It took me a whole 30 minutes for it to sink in, because how the hell did that New York guy get her new number? So I caught her in a lie. I called her out and she immediately started crying telling me she was so sorry that this happened but apparently she had given him her new number she told me. What my question is. How the hell am I supposed to get past this? I feel so betrayed because what else could she be lying about? We literally just got married July 21st and had been seeing each other for months before. I fell in love with her, and I thought she did me too. I even got rid of my townhouse and we both got a house together. I don't know what to do. Like this morning, I woke up and she was just staring at her home screen on her phone like she just changed the screen as fast as she could because I was waking up. Like fuck. I don't like feeling this way. She told me she's going to do whatever she can to build my trust back, that she loves me and that I'm her soulmate. But I'm so stuck on this. I'm trying to get past it? Comment. It's a tough one. Personally. I'd be asking myself what the results of a divorce would be. If the two of you would end up in pretty much the same condition as before you married, I would give her the benefit of the doubt and let it play out. On the other hand, if you'd be taking a big hit, I'd cut my losses right quick. Ugh. That hurts. I think something similar happened to me a while back with my ex-wife. I heard her phone go off with some weird chime and found out it was a Tinder notification. She tried to explain her way out of it and the best I could do was just ask her why. What is going on that you need attention from someone else? The answer to that question is why she is my ex-wife. She is going to cheat again, unless you get on top of this fast. I would have her block him in front of me and then get another number and tell her if it ever happened again, she would be out. I would make her sign a prenub right away. I would do random searches of her phone and keep dot and I out because if she did it with the last marriage she will likely do it with this one too, tell her she needs to make a choice this guy from New York or you and if she chooses you tell her to break things off with this guy over the phone, on speaker while dot you're in the room, and if she does keep an eye on here for a while and do random searches of her phone after that too, be clear with her if she does it again that you guy will get divorced. This might be hard but you can't be always waiting for her to be doing something sketchy, she needs to make a choice to stop on her own and if she can't, then get out before thing get more complicated with more assets. Next story 2. My GF might have left me for a girl. We dated for 4 years and she just got up one day and left. Where do I start? I will skip the 3 years we were together and fast forward to 2023. We were in a long distance and haven't seen each other for 7 months. I did mess up not going to see her because of my business but here is where it gets interesting. Around May, 
I was supposed to go see her but cancelled last minute and it really upset her. She was sad every day and I was trying to comfort her that she will be done soon with college and we will move in together. But she kept repeating the idea that I probably can never forgive you for this. Anyways, sometime during this, about two to three weeks later she goes, there is this great group of friends I met. And I was super excited for her so I kept pushing her to go hang out. One of the girls in the group was lesbian. I have met her for New Year's actually. She had a crush on my GF and we joked that if she makes moves on you, I won't be jealous. Then she took it a step further in jokes is it cheating if we kiss. And I said you mm, I think I'm okay with it. A little bit later I did say yeah fuck it, you can experience it if or gut wants to. Fast forward to May June. She has a serious jokingly request about it. And I'm given two to three days to think about it. I made some rules and allowed it. Then after they first kissed, I was jealous a bit but did not mention it. Fast forward two weeks. She asks how far can she go without me being upset or consider it as if it's cheating. I said only one time you can experience it. But, it was a great night for her. The details killed me and I noticed I made a big mistake. So I asked her to never do it again, it was an experience for both of us but it's making me really upset. She said she would stop and so I believed it. She comes home in July. First day we spent together, she's going to sleep over my place all summer. But the second day she's here, she goes to hang out with her. She's also from my country. Three to four days later she tells me I couldn't resist so we kissed. Found out that when I asked to stop, the sex stopped but not the kissing. I asked one more time that she must not or we break up. She agreed it's a bad idea and lost control so she will stop. My stupid ass, let her hang out with her another eight times out of the twenty days she came back. We planned a birthday trip for me to Vienna. She left me out of nowhere two days before it. After all summer saying. I love you more than myself or my person I could never leave you I wouldn't be able to love anyone else bc of what we have. I went to Vienna by myself, and while I was dying all those days. She was with her every day, hooking up. And she goes to me it's only bc it's fun, it doesn't have a future and I'm doing it cause it makes me happy. And my problem. 20 days have passed, not a minute goes by without thinking about her. And the worst part is, not only did she destroy me completely and I have no heart or life anymore. I still don't hate her, and want her back. Comment. Lesson learned. In any future relationship, don't readily accept a partner experimenting elsewhere, how can that end well? Value what you have, don't be so ready to let it go. You never had her, dude, it was a long distance relationship. That's not a thing, compared to someone who is actually kissing her every day. You didn't even visit her, you said it yourself. Next story 3. How can I get past my insecurities with my BF's past and dealing with his ex? I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for 4 years now, and it hasn't been without its challenges. We've had our fair share of ups and downs, even breaking up and getting back together. Recently, his cousin revealed to me privately that his family thought our relationship was just a phase because he's gay. However, I feel like his love for me has grown this year more, especially now that we're planning to move in together. We're both excited about this new chapter in our lives. But there's something that occasionally brings up feelings of insecurity for me, his ex. Before we officially got together, his ex was the one who ended things shortly after my boyfriend's birthday. They were in a long distance relationship, and even now, they still live far from each other. However, I can't help wondering what would happen if they were closer geographically, as they're in different states. My boyfriend once mentioned having dreams about trying to reconnect with his ex, and I later found out that they had some contact again after years of not being in touch, right before my boyfriend and I got together. This makes me wonder if things would be different if he and I hadn't gotten together. To add to my concerns, 
his ex used to wish him happy birthday every year, although it seems like he hasn't done so in the past year. Two years ago, my boyfriend mentioned how his ex was dating someone he considered less attractive. I also stumbled upon old texts where my boyfriend wrote that his ex would always be his. It's puzzling because their relationship only lasted about six months, and everyone said his ex was toxic. These thoughts sometimes make me feel sad and raise questions about the impact of their history on our relationship. I would appreciate any insights or advice from anyone who has experienced something similar. How did you cope with insecurities related to your partner's past and their connection with an ex? I want to find a way to address these feelings and build a stronger, more secure relationship with my boyfriend.